This man worships rats. They are my family. His name is Gajendar and he lives inside of a rat infested temple in northwestern India. 25,000 rats crawling through holes, jumping on your lap, and even swimming in your lunch bowl. I came here to learn why this rat temple exists and to test myself to see how far I can go outside my comfort zone. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We are just about to enter the rat temple here in Bikaner, Rajasthan state, northwest India. I took the once a week flight out here with my local friend Shubham. I'm excited. And we're equally as excited as nervous about what's waiting for us inside the rat temple. Just a man with a big stick. We are looking for the keeper of this sacred place who we contacted before coming here. I have so many questions for him. We are going to keep our shoes because shoes are not allowed inside the temple. We can already see the rats there. So are the rats gonna like eat our shoes or what? No, no, no. It's, it's completely safe. As early as four o'clock in the morning, the temple is open to the public. This is the eighth adventure of the world. Gajendar and local believers offer sacrifices to the rats in the form of cheese, sweets, and this giant bowl of milk. People drink that. People People have this drink, milk, and health is good. Can you show me? Yeah, please show. Very holy milk. Which animal's milk is that? It's cow, cow milk. Cow milk. You never get a sick stomach problem from the milk. No, 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 no problem. Never plague. Nothing. Rats are known to carry dozens of diseases, and many people believe they caused the European Black Death, which killed tens of millions of people. Their dirty bodies transmit lice, bacteria, viruses, and fleas, and they contaminate food and water supplies with their urine and feces. Mate, you want to try the milk? <laughs> yeah, sure. You want to try the milk? I can. You will? Yeah, I'm an Hindu person, man. It's good. It's really holy, and I don't fear anything. I can drink, man. No problem. And I can trust Hinduism for above anything. This is my friend. Have you, how long did you know each other? Uh, More than 20 years. 20 years. Same. Tell me about him. Descendant of the Karni Mata. The yes. direct descendant. How, how many generations? 50 generation, I believe. One five or five zero? Five zero. Fifty. So the first thing I realize when I walk in here is the smell. It says that this rancid, sticky smell in the air. Smells like rats. No, I smell. There is no smell, no disease, nothing. No, but just the smell. I can smell the rats. For them, it's nothing. No smell. Nothing. They are very habituated to it. This is my family. We say Kaaba. Can we go see your family? Yes. Come okay. Here. How yes. many rats are in the temple? Uncounted. No counted. Are thousand or thousand. This underground hole, and this wall is full. No idea. Every little room in this temple is just covered in rats. Look at this. When I think of rats, I think about the New York City subway or something that comes up in my dumpster at home. But here, they worship them. It's really fascinating. If you're wondering why Gajender keeps calling the rats his family, it's because he actually believes they are the reincarnation of his loved ones. It is said that these rats are descendants of the people from here. Yes, parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and long-lost cousins. This belief has been passed down over hundreds of generations and is stronger than ever today. So this is the life here, just chilling on the floor, hanging out with rats. Feeling the rat's feet crawling across my skin is disgusting. Ah! But I'm told this is a special sign of good fortune. And I'm all about cultural immersion. Oh, it just feels weird. They like grab onto your leg. But you don't eat the rats. No, 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 because these are my family. They're all my family. Why? This is very holy. To understand this place, we have to unpack the legend. The temple is dedicated to Karni Mata, a Hindu goddess of power and victory. The story goes that when Karni Mata asked the god of death to reincarnate her dead followers, her wish was granted, allowing them to be reborn as rats. Since then, this temple has become one of the most important pilgrimage sites for members of the Charan caste. We're now entering the main area of the temple here. Whoa. All the people behind me are pushing to get to the front of the temple so they can say their prayers to the rats. It's wild how they're like aggressively pushing to the front. It's getting really crowded in here. There is a main temple. People are coming here and praying for Karni Mata. How do people feel when they see the rats? Very lucky, feel it's very better. Karni Mata is happy, like a blessing. So in every Indian temple, the queue is formed to just have a look. Just one look of maybe two seconds, five seconds, depending on the crowd. They want to look at what? The goddess and just say what their wish is, that's it. What is going on right now? 
the world famous temple. Especially people are praying here only but this is very big diya, very big diya in, in India. Worship like uh, this is a diya which lights every year. System of blessing. This is a man pirate part. This is the world famous part. This temple is 600 years old. Very unique temple, world famous. What temple. are they doing? Uh, this time is uh, like a orange, or, orange color. Especially is a blessing for good age. I'm stepping on a combination of rat poop and trash. Not only is it the rat temple, it's also the cockroach temple. This place is absolutely disgusting. You can see how busy it is. All these people are coming in to go worship the goddess inside. People here are surrounded by more than 20,000 rats. When I think of rats, I think of filth, disgust, like smell bad, like diseases. But here, people are embracing them and living with them. It's crazy. Sometimes accident, accidentally, rat is die, uh, put. You step, in, you step on it. Yeah, I step on it. That is that. And what so happens? we gave and uh, made silver. What they did is they made a mice of silver and, and offered it to the goddess. Mata, and sorry. Say, sorry. Are you the only people in India that worship rats and mice, or the other people do it too? Only red one temple. So because uh, these are my family, Rani Mata family person. If you're on the street somewhere and you see and you see a rat, what do you do? Do you pick it up? No, 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 no. This all is all outside rat not come here. Oh. Some time is here coming. This rat is biting and uh, killed. No coming, never coming here. Lot of rats biting. The craziest thing about this place is the rats are very comfortable with humans. They'll eat directly from your hand, crawl on your shoulder, or simply just hang out with you. And believe it or not, it's considered good luck to eat food that they've nibbled on. Here is the kitchen in the back, and it's surrounded by rats. Hundreds of rats on the floor of the kitchen. What the, even the doorway has rats on it. Uh, this is a temple kitchen. But the, rat, the rats are eating the food right now. Yeah, we are also the same. These are my family. So we are together eating, together sleeping, nothing. Because these are my family. What is the rat's favorite food? Mm, like uh, fruits, anaj, like uh, bajra, wheat, everything. When you sleep, are the rats with you in the bed? Yeah, no problem. You don't wake up and the rat is looking in your face? Are you sleeping? Yeah, they're walking, nothing. No biting. No biting. No biting. But they make sound in your ears, no? No, 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 no. I'm sleeping, good feel. I'm not scared. I'm very lucky because I live in my together family. This rat is sleeping. Very too much eating food. Sleeping? Yeah. Yes. All this food is offerings from people and they redistribute it as food for both the rats and the people. Talk about sanitation? I don't know. This guy here is dishing out like 20 meals a minute. It's crazy. Look at all the people in, in the doorway begging. I'm being pushed right now by this guy. For the Kranimata offering and after like a prasad we gave everybody person here coming like a prasad for Karni Mata. This is prasad, very holy. I'm in the back alleys behind the rat temple and you can see rats everywhere. Water that the rats are drinking and they're just climbing through every single hole in this entire place. Gajinder is telling me that he sleeps here in the rat temple, in one of the back rooms. Let's go check it out. So this is where you sleep? No, here is Pujari. And we are sleep here. Oh, you sleep on the floor? In the floor. You have AC? Nice. Yeah, yeah AC also. We are now going upstairs to the secret chamber of the rat temple. A lot of rats here. See more and more here. Yeah, there's way more see, rats see, up see. here. Here. Oh, everywhere. Wow. Everywhere. Everywhere. This is cool. We're going through a secret window passage here. The views on the rooftop are absolutely stunning and the smell of rats has suddenly vanished. This temple is 600 years old. Your ancestors opened it? Before time, Karni Mata, she is living here. 101 here, she is praying Parvati and Shiva. The upstairs here, the temple at sunset is beautiful. I'm almost stepping on rats as I go down. Smell in here, oh, dude. Out of the 25,000 rats that live here, there is one that reigns above the rest. That is the white Kaba, which is believed to be the reincarnation of Karni Mata herself. If you're lucky enough to spot it, it is good luck and you are blessed. Oh, this is the office, office, office. What is it? The white mouse? Oh, yeah, the white yeah, mouse. White mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel when you see the white mice? So it's good luck. She is very good luck. She is very happy. His visit succeed and all family is very healthy, good, and blessing. Meet blessing. Man, I'm really happy that I saw the white mouse because last night I was having a conversation with my dad and 
he has been to this temple and he mentioned that like if you get to see the white mouse feel lucky i can't handle the smell any longer so i'm going outside with gajendar to learn more about this rat temple what was it like growing up here and when were you first introduced to the significance of the rats Hmm. From childhood, he's been coming to the temples with the families, following the rituals. So uh, as he grew up, he became very friendly with them. So uh, now he's one of the priests of the temple. So t how many priests do you have at the temple? The priest changes every one month because everyone needs the opportunity to uh, to take care of the goddess. Is there someone recognized as like the highest priest here? Yeah, there is one, he's a Brahmin, whom they consider his priest, a guru, you know? You believe that all those thousands of rats are actually people, souls? Yeah. yeah. So essentially you're around all of your ancestors when you're in the temple? Yeah, absolutely. So next time, when they pass the temple, Kaaba will come to the Depending on what kind of work you did in the whole life, you get to stay inside the temple accordingly. Inside the temple, it's heaven and hell. If you keep a rat as your pet and you keep on feeding him, he will get fat, right? But inside the temple, there is no lack of food. But still, the rats are of the same size. They are like same body, same structure. Why? Because the goddess has given them that form. If the rat dies in the house, uh, it, it, it becomes like a very big thing. Like it smells a lot. But here, it's just the normal smell. It's not like the smell of like a dead rat. It's just the poop. Kajinder has taken us to the house that he grew up in where his family is currently living. You know, as a traveler, it's really important that you respect religions and you try to understand and ask questions. And that's exactly what I've been doing so far in this story. But I can't deny the fact that it's pretty disgusting. And this is my own personal opinion. Just infested with rats. People are eating with them, drinking with them. And they are dirty creatures. There's no denying that they're dirty. Nonetheless, his wife is kind enough to make us some chai, so we're gonna have a chai and chill for a little bit. Chai and chill. Thank you very much. So, you have kids? Two daughters. Two daughters? Two daughters. Can girls become priests or only men? Only men. Only men? Only men. This is traditional of in a temple. Do you think one day women can become priests in the future? No. No, no never. No, never. Can you imagine living a life without rats? No. Never? Because I remember uh, he cannot live without being around rats because since the childhood he has always seen the rats, he has been among them as he has mentioned again and again the rats are his family so he cannot be away from rats so uh, the question here stands like he don't want to do that like stay away from rats ever. This is what travel is all about. Although I will probably never go back to the rat temple, I do respect those that worship here and I'm grateful for Gajendar for showing me around. Now it's time for a quick shower before heading to South Korea where I'm going to meet up with a North Korean friend to hit the streets of Seoul. I'll see you guys next week. The mouse just went on my camera. Yeah, oh, now he's on my tape. <laughs> They're your family, bro. Yeah. <laughs>